Hey, what's up guys? So good news for any of you who have also been having issues with your Valentine 1 Gen 2s. Uh, there's actually fixes available now from Valentine for the power off issue, as well as for the display light bleed issue. Now, if you're having this issue, Valentine has actually just set up a brand new email address uh, specifically for the early V1 Gen 2 issues. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is if you have an effective detector, you're gonna wanna reach out to them at March Gen 2 at valentine1.com. Uh, that's with a number two and a number one. Basically, you're gonna wanna reach out to them, let them know uh, what issue you're having, and they're gonna be able to send you a return shipping label so that you can send your detector back to them uh, and they can repair it and send it back to you. Um, they've asked not to send the detector in unless you've actually gotten the shipping label from this email address. Otherwise, they're not gonna be able to process it. And also because of the COVID-19 shutdown, they're not available over the phone right now. So again, they just ask uh, if you have an affected detector, reach out to them at marchgen2 at valentine1.com and they'll be able to help take care of you. Now, as far as the display power off issue, uh, there's actually already a fix available for that. Uh, and in fact, people who've previously sent in their detectors already for repair have already even gotten them back uh, with the fix in place. Additionally, once they open up after the COVID-19 shutdown and they resume shipping detectors, uh, all of the new detectors will already have the fix in place as well. Uh, and then as far as the uh, light bleed issue, it looks like there was uh, an assembly issue once they were actually putting the displays together in some of the early uh, V1 Gen 2s, but that issue's already been identified and fixed uh, even before the shutdown, and which I guess is why we're seeing fewer people with the display issues as opposed to the uh, power off issues. Either way though, they've made some fixes both to the design of the V1 as well as the uh, assembly process itself. So uh, if you have any issues, again, just reach out to them. I've got info in the video description and discussion on the forum about all this kind of stuff, but that's what you guys can do if you're also seeing any issues. Um, and I kind of want to give, you know, hats off to Valentine for uh, being so responsive and taking care of these issues, especially during a big shutdown like this. Like that's tough to do without, you know, being able to go to the lab or being able to do all the customer service at full capacity. So hats off to you guys for uh, being able to do this and respond so quickly in a obviously relatively challenging time. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to you guys on RDF who've, uh, kindly offered to actually loan me your V1 Gen 2 so that I can continue uh, doing testing and tutorials and videos and whatnot. So thanks to everybody on RDF, uh, as well as to uh, NY Carpenter, who's actually going to be sending me his V1 Gen 2 um, so I can keep doing my thing. So a big thanks to you guys as well. So uh, anyways, if you guys have any issues with your V1, reach out to V1 at their new email address, and they should be able to help you set up a, uh, a repair order. So awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you later.